South Africa is on a path towards digital transformation with the Swan University of Technology launching the second of the country's two hubs of the Artificial Intelligence Institute of South Africa in Pretoria. We know now that the adoption of artificial intelligence by a country can easily double the GDP of that country within 12 to 15 years. We have chosen to focus in the areas where we are as an institution already possessing considerable expertise, namely AI in motor industry, AI in farming and food production, AI in 4IR manufacturing, AI in tourism, AI in transport, AI in health and AI in telecommunications. Still new in the portfolio, the minister delivered a keynote address at the university. He described the hub as a solution to the country's socio-economic challenges. A lot of things are happening which should not happen. The number of people who are unemployed is far lower than required. Our Gini coefficient is unacceptable. The rate of our economic growth is not okay. Our fiscal situation, which is confronted by the debt service cost of about more than 300 billion is facing us. More than 50 or 60 percent of young people are not at work. This is the opportunity for young people to be at work. But how we implement this is going to actually take us there or stay as a dream. The launch of the AI Hub also saw exhibitions on technologies that will form part of the center. Minister Gungubele interacted with exhibitors while he was given a demonstration of how some of the technologies will work. As part of the launch, a panel discussion was held on the value chain involving players in the automotive, manufacturing, agriculture and healthcare sectors to talk about the role of artificial intelligence. There is a fear. Um, from and it was said by one of the speakers also that I think a lot of education needs to be done around it because the moment you hear a term like fourth industrial revolution it, it does bring fear and we had to take a lot of change management into place to actually address that fear and to make sure people understand it doesn't mean you're going to lose your work there's a lot of fear in the process that you need to address um, to actually get to a place where you can effectively use and be of a benefit to the, um, to the institution itself. We are told that the AI has the opportunity to add more than 15% to South Africa's GDP and the economy by 2035. TUT and government believe that South Africa is on a path of digital transformation, a future reimagined with commitments coming through on ensuring that more hubs are rolled out in the near future and connected to various sectors of the economy. Katla Rodi, SABC News, Pretoria.